Hey, what's up everyone? Kaban Armani456 here today to continue my Let's Play on Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. So, last time we completed the grid with Riku, but now we're going to continue on and do Prankster's Paradise with Sora. So, uh, yeah, let's go on and hop into this. So, uh, I've been grinding a lot on my own time, and actually I've uh, leveled up to level 20 now. So, we're like two levels ahead of what the stage asks for, so I think we're all set to go here. We should be able to take out enemies really easily, but here we go! Ready to go and dive and pop 100... I'm gonna stop singing. <laughs> my voice isn't doing it. My voice isn't good right now. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're supposed to pop 150 balloons here, I guess. I don't want to go too fast to where I miss a few pairs, but yeah, let's see right here. I think we're actually doing pretty well right here, getting a nice little combo right there. Okay. Nice! So it seems like actually- oh, what? Now this is where I wish I had 3D on. Sadly, I can't do that, but um, you know, if I had 3D on, I could have better depth perception right here, getting these balloons, because they kind of look like they kind of look like they're like far off or something, when they're actually not that far off, and it's kind of throwing me off a bit. I'm just going to hit that. Oh, I missed those balloons back there. Oh, well. And we'll just keep on dashing forward. Oh, my gosh. It's balloons galore. Okay, we're going to dash right here whenever we get close enough. Skadoosh. Nice. So, yeah. Um, I, like I said, I have no idea what's going to be coming up here. So, I'm kind of um, a bit... I'm just wondering, like, what this next world is all about. It's like Prankster's Paradise. I have not seen what this stage looks like, so it should be pretty interesting. But, oh gosh, we're running out of times. So. Oh, what? Wow, way to delay my dash right there. Okay, game. Okay, now we're actually coming to a lot of balloons right here. Okay, here we go. Ring is open. Woo! That was close. I don't think we got a good rank on that, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that was terrible. We got a C rank for Bronze Diver. Well, that sucked. Wow! father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe, one day, he can be a real... <laughs> Well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy, what's up? Um, who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. Gosh, I don't think I recognize you. But the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, that was kind of weird. I, though, I think I do remember, like, in some game, Jiminy was supposed to actually be, like, a guide or something for Sora. I'm not too sure about that, so don't... Take my word for it, but yeah. In the sleeping worlds, real time does not flow. Unless one restores the world by waking it from its slumber, it will stay locked in a dream forever. Thus, you may encounter familiar faces, but they are just figments of the dream. In actuality, they are sound asleep, trapped within a world that is also sleeping. What's more, whilst someone may no longer dwell in the real version of a world, 
Dreams may paint a fuller picture and restore what seems to be missing. The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack a of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend, Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Shame on you, Pinocchio. Playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this. I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. <whistles> hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. Oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true. Even the fella in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora. What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. <laughs> Tell me, Pinocchio, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that. That star again. The blue fairy. Why, Pinocchio... What has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see, uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, 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 Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll be good, won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. Again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh, uh, um... Hey! Over there! I see him! Gosh! That is Pinocchio! All aboard, Jiminy. <laughs> Take it away! All right then, so here we go. Now we have a new reality shift, which is bubble bursts. This globe will shoot bubbles away from where you touch. So hit the enemies with bubbles to trap them. Um, small area is more destructive. Big air areas means it's less destructive. And that the distance between the center globe and where you touch determines range and power. Okay then. So you can ride trapped foes and use them against other foes. Press the A button to burst the bubble and damage surrounding foes. Press the B button to burst the bubble and perform a super jump. Huh, okay then. A button to burst the bubble and damage. Okay, sounds good. Alright, but yeah, that was a, that's a pretty, just something I noticed um, in the cutscene right there. Uh, it's kind of funny, like he's like, 
Jiminy is gonna make, uh, no, not Jiminy, uh, Pinocchio is gonna make himself a jack -a mule <laughs> if he stays around here and stuff like that. I thought that was kind of funny because I remember in the old, uh, in the old, um, you know, wait, let me go and save my data right here. Alright, quick edit right there, I do apologize about that, but I'm back. Yeah, what was I saying before? Um, can't recall. Oh yeah, um, Pinocchio, definitely one of my favorite, um, movies from back then. You know, it was just, it was a, it had a lot of, um, good messages and stuff for, like, you know, children and all. Like, not to lie and stuff like that. And then it was pretty funny as well. <laughs> like I said, um, you know, how I was talking about how they actually... Wait, what the heck is going on here? These things are actually pretty strong. Okay, hold up now. Okay, we need to use our special powers. Nice. Take these enemies out a lot faster. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Alright, we also need to use a drop me not right now to replenish. Because, yeah, like I said, I was grinding a lot before I actually recorded this video. So, used up a lot of my time, actually. But let's see, where was Pinocchio again? He was somewhere in the amusement park or something? He was like running around on this path right here, I think. I don't know which way he headed, but I guess I'll just come over this way. Where does this lead to? Because yeah, we just came from right there, I think, so... Oh, there's a little Pinocchio. Pinocchio! There you are! Pinocchio, it's not safe for you here. Listen to Jiminy and go back to Oh, what? Dream Eaters! <sighs> Only one way to solve this problem. Oh, how dare the frickin' tools um, fool us like that. Making us think he's Pinocchio, and then next thing you know, they set us up in a trap. Alright, time to take out these whores, this old, big old gang. Alright. You ready to get owned, everyone? Okay, do I really need to pull out? Okay, I will pull out my special spirit if I have to. Or actually, I'll hop in here. See what happens right here. Okay, what do I do here? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, is this what? Okay, I'm just like tapping on the thing right here. Slide closer to increase rated fire. Touch the lower screen to blow bubbles at the target. Okay, there we go. I guess that's what we do right here? Oh, look right here. Yeah, there we go. We can roll on this, okay. And finish him off. That's actually kind of cool, kind of confusing. Whoa, I'm frozen, what? Okay, here we go. Skadoosh, ba bam Yes, take all this. Stick a little forward. Oh, what? Oh, now they're here, too. Oh my gosh, okay, sleep. Go to sleep, stupid witch. Alright, here we go. Gonna burn this stupid panda bear. Cure ourselves right here. Okay, dodge. There we go. Yeah, I've gotten a new special. I've gotten a few new special powers as well, like the gravity. Um, what is it? Gravity attack right here. Look at this. You can suspend them off their feet and take them out. Is it right there? So kind of cool, actually. There we go. We defeated them, and our health has increased. Oh, and we also got a just the baki recipe. Those dream eaters were pretending to be Pinocchio. So, then where's the real Pinocchio? Sora! Up there! Look at the top of that tower! You're right! Come on, Jiminy! Okay, so it looks like we have to go um, up to the tower. But, um, yeah, let me see right here. Um, well, I was talking about Pinocchio before. That's the thing, it's so funny. There's so many cutscenes in this game. Usually, like when I am Let's Playing some games, I'll every once in a while talk during the cutscene if it's not really that important. But with Kingdom Hearts, I know how some fans take the story very seriously, so I try to respect that. And yeah, I'm gonna shut up right now. Gee, Pinocchio, how'd you manage to get up here? Come on, let's go home. What? Another imposter. Hmm. There! See him walking? Well, sure. If that's really him. 
Don't give up, Jiminy. Come on, let's go. All right then. So yeah, <laughs> at another cutscene, and now we gotta chase after him again. But let me see. I think I have to actually cut off my camera really quickly. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah, just had to cut it off really briefly. But Pinocchio was walking around here somewhere. I have um, which way was he going? I think it was down here or something like that. Let's see where he's heading off to. But, um, um, well, I was going to talk about, like, one of my favorite scenes during, uh, you know, the old movie, but I don't know if I'm gonna run into a cutscene or something like that. I'm gonna have to be quiet again. Let's see right here. Oh! Secret pathway. Maybe we have to just come over this way. I saw him walking right there, but I guess we just continue on here. Find Pinocchio outside the amusement park. Okay. But yeah, um, you know, back in the old movie, um, ooh, another secret area right here. It was like that scene to where, um, Pinocchio's like playing with these other boys and stuff, and Jimmy's like, you know, be careful and stuff like that, Pinocchio, and like, you know, the kids are turning into donkeys. He's like, what do you think I am, a jackass? And then next thing you know, he, he turns into a donkey. It was freaking hilarious. And he's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty funny. That, that's just one of the most, like, memorable scenes I remember the way he was, like, playing to, like, billiards or something in the room. And like, what do you think I am, a jacket? And then next thing you know, he turned into a donkey. Ate his own words. <laughs> Let's see, I have no idea where exactly we're even going right here. I'm just kind of chilling. And we're gonna, look at that, these things are tending to use some ice powers or something on the ground. It's like slipping us. Where we don't have as much mobility. Oh, hello there. Oh yeah, right in your face. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna hop in here to this um, reality ship. We'll go on and uh, pop balloons at this thing. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. I'm trying to. There we go. Alright. Yeah, this one's kind of weird, actually, this reality ship power. Alright, um, here we go. I think they're done, actually. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're all done. So, good. Which way does this lead to? Hey, this place is pretty big, actually. Oh gosh, here we go. Some more enemies around here, of course. And yeah, they're pretty powerful actually. Ooh, but we did level up Sora, so nice. Thank goodness we have very, very powerful attacks around here, so that we won't be struggling with these enemies hopefully. I wonder what's gonna be with Riku actually when we come to this world. Should be pretty interesting. What the heck is this? Ribbit belt? I challenge the Uh I'll pass actually. I have no idea what that super front wants, so I'm out of here. Um, let's see. There's a treasure chest around here, and there's an opening on the other side. Got another ice drain cone. Yeah, I've been feeding also, like, I've been training my spirits and stuff, and feeding them, so... It's helped out a ton to actually, um, level them up as well. I think I'll probably equip my, uh, like, super special, like, rare ones in a second as well. Right. And yes, I just want to go on and say it again because I don't want people to be like bugging me and stuff like that. I only use the um, you know, flow motion just to take out enemies a lot faster. Okay. Because you know, like I don't want to be wasting all my time in my videos trying to take out enemies. That's just yeah. No. Okay, Fat Albert just volunteered to drop down. <laughs> there we go. Burned his booty. Alright. Get up here, there was a treasure chest. Alrighty then. And yes, again, if there is a glare, oh, I don't think Pinocchio came this way. Well, thanks for telling me this late, but. Oh well, we'll get back up here. It's not that far up, actually, so. I was wondering if we were going the right way. I wasn't sure, but then next thing you know, it's like, oh, we're going to this way. Oh, really? Could have told me a bit sooner. So we'll just use flow motion to get around here a bit faster. 
Ah, oh, I love flow motion so much. Is that okay? We already opened that treasure chest over there. All right, let's get back in here. Continue on. Press forward. All that jazz. Come this way instead, where the music meant park is. All right. Have a nice little red carpet right here. And oh my gosh, these guys. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't I don't like these guys. I can already tell right here. I'm going to use floor motion. Like just take them out a lot faster. Look at that. Keep freezing us. Boom shaka kala. Wow, that was a total fail of a boom shakalaka. Might be of the Muppets actually as well. One of my other old favorite childhood movies and am I going the right way or No, I'm going backwards. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. You all should know that already, if you watch my videos a lot, so... Let's kind of do this way. I don't know what that was over there. Okay, here we go. Perfect timing. Okay, so we have these stinking little cats around here. I hate these cats so much. They're terrible. Alright, any more around here? No. Oh, we wiped him out. That was kind of fast, actually. Faster than I thought. Um, but what was I saying? I think I was saying, uh, sorry, uh, I do apologize about the glare and stuff like that. Because, again, I'm recording this in the day. And I, like, my recording setup with the 3DS is near, um, my window. So it kind of glares at times. I don't know how to exactly fix it, because... Okay, will you... Will you oh, stop it? Okay, here we go. Take a drain dive. We'll keep sliding on around here. Okay, gravity strike. Oh, what? Oh, what? He broke me out of it. Okay, here we go. Go to sleep. I'll show you his boss. Alright, we'll take out this one. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm recording this in the day, so it's kind of like, um... You know, it's... It's hard to make sure that glare doesn't show up with my windows closed and all that stuff. It's really annoying at times. That's what I hate about the 3DS is, uh, you know, the 3DS's screen. It's so, um, ugh. Look at that thing. That thing's creepy. Man, holy balls. Okay, get out of here. Yep, I hate clowns. They, they suck so much. Well, I think what made me really hate clowns a lot was, um, some old horror movie back then as well. Like, gosh, I'm putting a lot of stuff in my past. The movies I watched, there's like this Warner Brothers, like, old, like, PG or PG-13, like, clown movie. It's supposed to be like a horror movie, and it's like these clowns. They would, like, toss, like, pies into your face and stuff like that and make them melt and stuff. Like, I remember when, like, one, uh... When one of them did him to like a police officer, and I was like, oh my god. I was like flipping out. Yep, that's what that's what kind of made me hate. Uh... Oh, nice. Nice job, Sully. Okay, um, we're going to go and cure ourselves right here. There we go. Because, uh, let's see right here. Okay, we're getting closer. This place does look pretty awesome, though. Go on and save our game right here. But yeah, I hate clowns. That's that is one big reason why I hate clowns because of that old, old um, whatever show that was, like movie it was. Can't recall. If you all do know in the comments below, let me know. It's like some horror clown movie. It's pretty bad. 